Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick breakdown of how filthy, how good Felix Sandstrom was, the former Reading uh, Royal, another ECHL player. There's in a plethora of them this year that made their debuts uh, in the NHL, and a great fan of as well ever since he got hot as a firecracker to round out the end of last season. He's kept that going into this season for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Uh, Felix Sandstrom was absolutely ballistic last night, and obviously the loss balls on the team for not playing well in front of the goaltender for back-to-back -back nights. The night before, of course, our Philadelphia Flyers found a will and a way, enough offense, because Martin Jones was the go to the game. While in this game, Felix Sandstrom was the star of the game, breaking a record for a team that, yeah, other than Carter Hart, um, in the, like, 2000s year, we haven't had the squeaky screen going. Brian Boucher's also been a good goaltender. But, like, this team throughout history since Snyder Barman has had a couple good goaltenders. Well, guess who's the all-time saves leader in his debut? Felix Sandstrom, and he played a hell of a game making 43 saves. And even making a final good save there uh, before nobody could <clears throat> um, block out uh, Tomas Hurdle to stop him on the rebound. So uh, that was a good final save before Hurdle was able to score his 16th goal. I thought Sandstrom was very technically sound. Kote Kazanabi for our double A team didn't face a shot for like the first six minutes of the game and then still has looked good for the Royals this far. I'm in the double A affiliate of the Flyers watching that right now as recording this video. But um, Felix Sandstrom, I mean, he's a hell of a goaltender. He's a hell of a sound goaltender. A guy that people say is quiet, like Morgan said, um, uh, post, uh, I can't remember what period it is, but said to Jonesy during the game that he's a quiet guy, but he's a guy that you know is always um, sharp and always like basically there. And train. Like, he's one of those guys that has the work ethic of a bull, basically. Let's just put it that way. Um, and it showed he had a great first game. He got bombarded. Obviously, like JJ said, and I said in my preview to the game, you would like to be able to ease in um, your new goaltender in his debut a little bit well. Because it leads to a higher success rate. Well, nobody told Felix Sandstrom that because Felix Sandstrom looked like Jonathan Quick in his Stanley Cup day uh, to cite another former Royal um, in that game, keeping the Philadelphia Flyers in the game in order to give them a chance uh, to win that game. Also, that was a battle of two former Reading Royals, just to give a quote of, um, or just give a fun fact about the Flyers organization. Last night's game was a battle of two former Royals, James Reimer. And, of course, Felix Sandstrom. So that's a cool thing as well. But, unfortunately, Reimer was able to come out on top. Uh, Felix Sandstrom deserved a lot better in this game. And uh, it's just one of those things. Uh, 46 shots to 25 by the Flyers. The Sharks, I'm not saying the Sharks deserve to win that game from how they played. Let, let me get that out there. But from how Sandstrom played, he deserved a better fate. The Flyers just played pitiful in front of them. Therefore, making the Sharks deserve to win the game because they played the much better overall game. The Flyers were just able to find a way to tie it uh, with the Fairview play that uh, Keith Yandel, who played a terrible game overall, was able to cause a turnover. <coughs> um, Lindblom was then able to get the assist to Fairby, <coughs> and they were able to tie it, excuse me. And then the first goal with Morgan Frost was excellent passing um, in that uh, tic-tac-toe, one, two, three passing uh, to get it to Frost in front. But they didn't play well enough in this game. Felix Sandstrom deserved better in his debut. He broke a record um, for the most saves in a debut in an organization that of late. Yeah, we had Carter Hart. We had Boucher. Uh, Biron was here for a short stretch. Uh, Steve Mason was solid for a couple years. We haven't had the same like Hextallian goaltending that we had back in the day for a while until right now with Carter. But we've had very good goaltending throughout our history. So for Sandstrom to be the guy... That has the all-time saves um, in his debut record. That's pretty darn good as he beat uh, Pelly Lindbergh, who was in fifth for that. Uh, Cal, Cal Heater, who was in fourth for that. Doug Favel, who was in third. And then Michael um, Bomer, who was in second, right, literally right behind Sandstrom with 42 saves of 43 for Felix Sandstrom. Uh, that was in 72 when uh, Bomer did that. The most recent... Um, other than now was four three four thirteen fourteen. Excuse me. Um, which was Cal Heater when he made thirty three. But I hope everybody had a great, safe, and pleasant 
um, holiday and is enjoying their happy uh, New Year's Eve and has a very happy New Year. This has just been a quick video highlighting how good Felix Sandstrom did after having a heck of a career for the Royals, heck of a career for the Phantom. Now started off really good with our Philadelphia Flyers. He deserved a lot better. Hopefully he gets a lot better if he does get another start. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and please continue to subscribe to show your love and support down below. And Happy New Year.